Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got your favorite artist on deck. That's right, Takashi Six Nine. <laughs> you like your oh, this finna be good, man. You think? Hey yo, man, since the whole video is gonna be dedicated to Takashi for today, man, let me let me let me do my shoutouts real quick, man. Real talk. You see what I'm saying? Um. Hey yo, man! I want to give a shout out to my boy Kenneth Cole, man. My man, my man is telling Chris Ingebrigtsen to feed the algorithm, man. Always coming. In other words, come true. You see what I'm saying, man? Yo, shout out to both of y'all, man. These guys are always number one or two every time on a video, man. Shout out to my girl Sunny, man. You know I love it when it's sunny. You see what I'm saying? She said, "Yo, that Office Space um movie clip was hilarious." You see what I'm saying? I, I, I completely agree. Trey Santiago, man, always locked in the celeb source. Yo, much love and respect to you. Marquise Ruffin, man, shout out to you. Ninja Bay, rude girl. Yo, you know we love you, man. Shorty was saying, yo, man, them, them, them Yeezys. She said, yo, the nurses are probably rocking them joints. Real talk. I bet. I bet, right? And my boy Phil, always coming through and inviting us to the barbecue, man. Yo, shout out to you, man. And how can I forget my boy G. Bo, man? Shout out to you and the lovely ladies in your life, big dog. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about them little girls. You know what I mean? Um, I love them, man. But I don't know their name, but 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 we love them. They was in one of our older videos, man. I wish I could find that joint. See what I'm saying? Yo, you gotta um post a post a link in the comment below. Anyway, look, check this out, man. Uh, I told you we got your favorite artists on deck. Look, there are a million reasons, right, why people are fascinated with that dude right there. And it's time you get a few facts about Takashi Six Nine so you can fully understand why the hell you are so scared of this dude. <laughs> You're like, who's scared? You? No, no, no. You, bruh. You see what I'm saying? We're just trying to get down to brass tacks as to why he got you so nervous, fam. Look, he's just a flesh and blood, man. You see what I'm saying? In fact, you see that huge 6'9 tattoo on his mug? There's actually meaning behind that joint. 6'9 is the number of bodies he has. So if you cuff around with him, 70 could be his new name. That's right. <laughs> you like, yo, that's cat. All right, all right, whatever. That's cat, but... Okay, the 6'9 actually represents the number of letters in his first name, Daniel, and the, the number of letters in his last name, Hernandez. That's right, break your fingers out and start counting out how many letters are in Fernandez. And, and, the number 6 could be flipped upside down to create the number, that's right, 9. You're like, oh, this guy is deep. No doubt. You see what I'm saying? Look, the six being flipped upside down into a nine symbolizes the polarization of the man's character. One minute he's meek and quiet, right? That's right, I said meek, right? Then he flips into loud and rambunctious, man. You see what I'm saying? One minute you got a quiet dude, relatively gentle sounding in the whole nine yards. Then you got your gang affiliated loudmouth. You see what I'm saying? That's dropping bags on people's heads. That's right. He participates in gang-related activity, even willing to drop a bag to get at some folks. You see what I'm saying? Now, his main issue popped up when the fine line between gangster activity and moving silently like a G in lasagna, that line was blurred and he became doubly scary. Did I say doubly scary? Look, when he started dropping names, that's right. If you was in a gang activity and you moved around this dude, be afraid. I I'm talking... Be very afraid because the peoples could be at the other side of your door right now because that man told on you. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking like if you smoked a spliff when the joint was illegal and you know Takashi 69, it's possible they got your phone tapped right now. You see what I'm saying? Look, look, look. Hopefully they don't bust in before you finish this vid and, and F, F up our watch time analytics. Here's what makes this dude particularly horrifying. Imagine, right? An individual that knew the dirt that you did, right? Will tell on you, but seems untouchable himself. You, you can't even keep the man locked up. He even got early release when he did get locked up. You see what I'm saying? One of 6 ix biggest supporters showed up on a Showtime documentary, but apparently he saw the writing on the wall effing around with 6 9 and he pulled back, leaving the space open for Shoddy to come in. And Shoddy came in, became his manager, bodyguard, and assistant. Now, a podcast that focused on Shadi's influence states that Takashi 69 was a bit leery of Shadi, even suspecting that Shadi was guilty of being, uh, what is it, robbing him on the low, and may have even been connected to 69 being robbed and kidnapped by non trade members. You like kidnapped? Oh, yes, kidnapped. Hey, yo, take a look at this kidnapping clip right here. Mm -hmm. 
No, no, no. Running, nigga. Give right. me everything, nigga. Get out. Get out. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car, nigga. Get in the car, nigga. No, stop. Wait, wait, wait. Chill, chill. Chill, chill. What do you mean? What do you mean? Give me your money. Give me your money. Give me your money. Get in the car. 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 Get in the car.
He trolled Casanova, and when Cas confronted him and sta uh, Cas stated, quote, when I spoke to him, he was like, Cas, I don't even know you. He was speaking proper English. Close quote. Proper English, right? I'm, so I'm sorry, Mr. Nova. Perhaps you received incorrect information, which has me concerned about exactly why you're choosing to question me, sir. Nova, right? Look, look, the game was trolled. Producer Pierre Bourne was trolled. My boy Kodak was trolled. Jay Prince Jr. warned his behind when he said, don't think that you can go to other people's city and not show them the proper respect that's due. We earned that and we demand it. And then, of course, that show was canceled in Texas. Okay. Trippy Red says something about 6 9 on social media that oddly was attacked, right, by members of, um, you know, 6 9 crew at the time. As far as I understand, okay? So on and so forth. Look, the man disrespected whole neighborhoods and cities. Look, his security probably has to watch their back more than high school than a than a high school sophomore at an R. Kelly concert. <laughs> you like, you didn't. No, I did. Okay? Look, how about this? How about his security has to pay closer attention to NYPD internal affairs? Is that better? <laughs> Look, I, I'm like, you want it low or you want it high? You see what I'm saying? Look, we're hitting at both angles, man. Look. Here's the thing. I got my neighbor's kids looking at my, in my car like, yo, what the hell's going on with him? He all sweaty and stuff? Bruh. You see what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. If you catch him out there, right, a lot of times the man does not have security. You see what I'm saying? It, it's strange, man, because he does a lot of this stuff and he's running around with no security, which a lot of people are, are, are like, yo, man, that ain't safe. You're probably thinking, this man makes millions and his music is worse than most people's music. How the hell is he running around here with like eight to ten million dollars like as a net worth? And my punk behind is clocking in around like what? 50 G's a year. Be because that man is an entertainer, man. Are you aware that if you made seventy thousand dollars, right? Seventy thousand bucks every year at your job for the next one hundred and forty years, you still wouldn't hit ten million bucks. My bad. Look, I ain't mean to dunk you under an ocean of depression, but that fact should be the impetus to get you to invest into multiple streams of income, man, that bring you paper from other directions. Legally. Legally. See what I'm saying? Look, Takashi69 has stated on um this, this the show on Showtime that he has, right? That UPS drivers have more talent than him. <laughs> you like facts. But I question. If that's facts, you might think talent in terms of music, but I'm thinking as an entertainer, the man is worth 10 million. You could be a musician that's entertaining, a la Busta Rhymes, or you could be an entertainer that happens to do music. Then you have entertainers that do music extremely well, like 50 Cent, where they could thrive off the music alone. And then you have entertainers whose music sucks, but as entertainers, they're powerhouses. You see what I'm saying? That could pull in $10 million, man. Look, look, look. His supervillain joint, which you probably never um, sat down and watched, right? Pointed to the murder of his stepfather as the turning point in his life, which gave birth to the 6ix9ine persona. You see what I'm saying? The murder plunged the man into a different mindset, which completely explains psychologically how a person could be quiet and meek and then turn into the exact opposite. In fact, ain't that the type of psychology that explains Two-Face Man? You know what I'm saying? Like, he said, oh, I'm like Batman putting criminals away. But in actuality, he's kind of more like Two-Face. And this teaches us, right, that the right circumstances can transform you into anything diametrically opposite from what you currently are, man. Hence the scripture, the human heart is deceitful and desperately diseased. You don't know what you are in all reality, man. You only think you know what you are. You see what I'm saying? Look, Sarah Molina, his baby mama, explained. I hate the word baby mama, but whatever. She explained that the uh, the man is a nightmare to be around. With the situation uh, that she refers to in Dubai involving 6 9 which left her bloodied up. I'm talking like blood coming out of her head. It's something crazy like that. You see what I'm saying? I, I seen a man use her as a punching bag. Literally. Okay. In other words, to me, that means even women could get it. You see, this lady needs to shut her dog up, man. Shut your dog up. You see, I'm recording over here. Look, the whole supervillain narrative is pushed a step further with him and his relationship with these women. 
You see what I'm saying? You like, if that's the case, then what's her name up the block as a super villain? You know what I'm saying? She left her man bloodied up plenty of times when she put hands on him. Look, look, that ain't funny. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Although I'm laughing, it ain't funny. Shorty needs prayer. You have, look, check this out, man. You have every reason to be concerned about Takashi 69, okay? Especially if you've committed a crime in the past and you know him. Real talk, okay? Because if he ever gets roped up and he wants to get some time off, you on the chopping block. Are you following what I'm saying, man? He said he's like Batman for crying out loud. When you have an individual, right, who feels like they have nothing to lose, they lost a parent to the violence, right? Come on, man. Can someone fix the post office truck? When you have an individual who feels like they have nothing to lose, lost a parent to violence, viewed as an enemy across the culture, supposedly hated by all, but not really. When you corner a rat, they'll do anything to escape, including clawing their way through you. Hey, yo, let us know what you think. How scared are you of Takashi 69? Everybody comes into the comment section talking about how they want to set it on him, right? And then when there's videos of him bumming into people, they like, oh, can I get your autograph? You see what I'm saying? Hey, yo, let us know what you think in the comments below, man. Um, what's the psychology behind what he does? How he makes his money? What do you think is, is like what makes people love this guy? You see what I'm saying? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source for celeb news.